Okay guys, so in this part of the tutorial we are going to be going over the creativity for everyone section. So that includes these hover over buttons here. Well they're not really buttons but because um, they, they don't need anywhere but we'll have like a nice hover effect on them anyhow. And so we've got this text block section here and we've got an image with these kinds of things that are kind of spanning off it. And what I was thinking was that we would um, maybe have these animated so they kind of go up as this person screen, uh, scrolls down their screen. So let's get started. Actually, there's one thing I wanted to say. I did have a plan to kind of show you how to make CSS sprites and how to do rollovers for CSS sprites and stuff like that. But then I kind of figured, do you know what? It's 2014. Not a lot of people are using CSS sprites now because they know how to do stuff in CSS, right? So what I kind of thought was instead of us using images is i.e. using these icons is that we're going to use something else um, from a company called Font Awesome so we're going to use their fonts Font Awesome if you've had a look at my other tutorials you would see that I've done a tutorial completely on Font Awesome and how to install it etc etc I'm going to show you the same thing here and how we're going to use this system to create these kinds of rollover buttons and um, they're not going to look as pretty as these ones but I just wanted to show you that basically using images on a site like this which is quite image heavy you know we've used quite a lot of images already so maybe we should cut down on how many images we use just to make sure that our site kind of is 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 speedy yeah and these images which don't really do anything they're not even buttons like it's just really unnecessary for them to just all be images um that the server has to request so we're going to use font awesome and how you do that is you head over to font awesome um press on the getting started section and you would copy this line of text here once you've done that you would head over to the um, dashboard of your headway sorry the dashboard of wordpress go to headway options scripts and analytics and you would paste that code into the header scripts and you would save your changes there and that is all you have to do to install it it's that easy okay so the next thing we want to do is we want to start creating this section on our site. So let's head back over to Headway, go to the grid section, and we'll scroll down here. I'm going to add a new wrapper, and I'm going to add a text block. There we go. And this is called Creativity for Everyone. So. Let's go to the content section, paste that in and give an H2 tag for that and center that there. Okay, where is it? Here it is. So now let's give us a bit of room because this section is going to be quite long. Okay, we'll make sure we have enough room to put everything in there. Let's grow up. The next section we have to put in is this area here. Now I'm going to use a text block for this. You can of course use a custom code block if you want. I'm going to use a text one though. So let's press text. And in the content section the first thing I want to do is add a, a light bulb icon. So I'm going to head over to font awesome, go to icons and I'm just going to see if I can find a light bulb if I can spell light bulb don't know why my spelling has been atrocious this week okay so we have a light bulb here so we can copy this line of HTML please excuse that that's my iPhone going off telling me I've got messages okay so we can copy this bit of HTML here head over to the HTML section in headway and paste that in after that I'm going to add a tag which is called a BR tag and that's going to give us a break between the light bulb and the header which is going to be underneath it so let's just copy this 
and let's paste that in there. We can now safely go over to the visual editor here, add a break and copy this line of text here. So as you can see, we still have the light bulb there, even though it does not show in this section, but it is still there, it's still there. And we can just highlight everything and center everything. Okay, so everything is centered. That's cool. This can be a H3 tag, so I'm gonna change that to H3, make sure that's centered. And let's press save and have a look and see what this looks like in the browser. Okay, so we've got our text, our header, and our icon. That's cool. Now we want to right click and duplicate this block another three more times. Duplicate block. And we want to make sure that these blocks kind of are in a row, like the top part is aligned with the next top block okay so then it can make a nice little row for us so now we've saved that we can press refresh and now we've got our four blocks there we can go back to um, font awesome and have a look for other icons which are which we want to use for this now i'm going to see if i can find similar ones but if i can't i'm just going to replace them with any random one so this paper one i can possibly replace that with um do, 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 i'm just gonna use this one and i'm gonna go into open block options content and i am literally going to select the i tag and paste in the other one I'm now going to do that for the others. Okay, so I've added all the icons and I've kind of added a tiny bit more text to this section here so it looks a bit better than what it did before. Okay, so now that's all done, the next thing you want to do is add this little line here uh, which is supposed to be centered. So let's pull this up and drag oops what have i done here let's drag this back here let's move this up move this up i can just double click on these and do a bulk move like that okay so we want to add this little line underneath and what we could do easily is create a another block here custom code and in the middle of it we just do a hr tag and that's a horizontal rule or a horizontal line next we want to add another text block so just underneath that we'll add another text block with this is how inspiration looks like English is funny but you know what I like it I'm going to give this a h2 tag and center that and then underneath we're going to plop in this information and make sure that that's all centered as well so let's press save and go in here and refresh and now we've got our line and we've got our information there now we want to add in this section this section i'm actually going to use four i'm wondering if i should use four different ones or whether i should use two or three so let's have a look at my first idea the first idea is to use a cell sections block and to add my headings so this will be one heading and this will be the text underneath it okay 
gonna add another section directly underneath it with the same text and a different heading. Okay. Now let's have a look. If I go to the above breakpoint, I want this to be a text content only and I want it to be vertical and I want the text to be aligned to the right so let's see what that looks like in the browser let's refresh and we have these two here the only issue I have though is that they are perfectly uh, directly underneath each other and I don't think I like that at all so what we can do is add an alias subsection alias um, so I can call this one feedback and I can call this one social uh, press save I'm going to duplicate this block move it over here to the left to the right sorry I want to make this a bit smaller in fact because I do want to fit in another soul sections block here I'm going to open the options for this one I'm going to have these to the left instead and I'm going to change this to analytics and offline capabilities scroll down offline so let's press save and see what that looks like okay so now we need some space in the middle to put our image so let's drop that in here soul sections block again breakpoint right settings I'm going to choose the image use this image I'm going to have this fading up and above breakpoints we're going to have this image only and image area is 100% so let's press save and let's refresh and now we have our image okay so let's see how we're going to make this work in the design view so let's actually save this snapshot as creativity grid Okay, and let's go over to the design view now. <clears throat> uh, let's scroll down here. Okay, so as before, let's start from the top, which is the wrapper. I'm going to give this wrapper a 30% margin. So let's edit this wrapper. Not a margin, so we're going to give it a padding of um 90 pixels on the top we want to scroll up here and we want to basically copy the settings of this uh h2 tag i think it is so we're gonna control and c scroll down here and we're gonna control and v and i want to make sure that the color is one that we can see that's cool I also want to put a little bit of margin as well at the bottom so if I put a 30 pixel margin on the bottom I think that would be fine and we're gonna press save 
Now, one thing I forgot to say is that when we added these icons, it came with its own class. So it's got FA, FA, Life Ring, and that's it. What I want to do is I want to, because I'm going to be using icons elsewhere within this page and I don't want to use the I don't want to use the individual FA classes like the FA life ring and stuff like that because then it's just going to get long so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my own classes to these um, uh, to these icons uh, so I'm going to right click on the uh, text box and open my block options from here and I'm going to right where it says FA light bulb, I'm going to do a space and I'm going to call this circle. Okay. And I'm going to go through all of these icons and I'm going to do the same thing. That's content uh, here. Okay, so that's all done now. I'm going to press save. And I'm just going to close the other tabs because we don't need them right now. I'm going to refresh this one. Right, scroll down. And I'm going to bring up the CSS editor. And just where it says media queries, I'm going to put a little bit of space and I'm going to, as a comment, I'm going to call it creativity. Add another st statement and call it icons. <clears throat> I'm going to do dot circle. That's my class, right? And I'm going to add a bracket and I'm going to start adding some styling to this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to change the font size. So I'm going to go font size hmm, 18 pixels. I'm going to put an important tag on there. And as you can see, it's slightly moved. So I'm going to change this, 18 is way too small, I'm going to change this to 38 pixels, maybe 48 pixels, I think that's cool. Okay, next I'm going to add a background colour, I'm going to go back to my mock-up and choose the colour here copy that to clipboard and I'm going to paste the colour in there. Next I'm going to change the colour of the icon to white. Okay. Then I'm going to give it a height of 100 pixels. And I'm going to give it a width of 100 pixels also. I'm going to give it a border radius of 50% and that gives me a perfect circle and now I'm going to give it a line height of 100 pixels and I'm going to put an important tag on there also okay and that makes the icon dead centered so now we've got our icon and we can add hover effects to this as well, which is cool. So I can add dot circle and a colon and then the words hover after this with a bracket. And all I'm going to do is change the background color. So I'm going to add background color and I want to choose this pinky color here and uh, copy this I'm going to add that in there now when I go to hover it changes the color 
and you can also change the color of the icon too so if you wanted the color of the icon to be the same color as the background you can change that so it changes the color too I don't particularly like that but you can obviously have that if you want to okay so let's press save and that section is done very nicely so let's start adding some styling to the actual headings here so I'm going to right click edit this instance I'm going to make the um, styling of it bold I'm not quite sure the actual size of it so I'm going to go back to my mockup this is 22 pixels, so I'm going to see what 22 pixels looks like. Let's see what 30 pixels looks like. Way hey, too big. 25 pixels I think should do it. Get rid of that. And it's uppercase, so capitalization uppercase. Let's bring that down to 23 pixels. I don't really like the line height on that either. It's a bit too far away. So let's change the line height to 130. Let's see what 100. Yeah, that's about it. So now I'm going to press Control and C to copy all the styling. I'm going to head over to the next one, edit. Control and V and that's just going to paste the setting to all of them. Now the text, I think we need a bit of line height on here. So let's do 180 and the font size, I think we should put that to like a 16. I think that's cool. So now we can Control C and then we can move this on to the other ones very easily, like that. Okay. We probably need a little bit of padding between, or margin between the icon and the title. It seems to be bunched right up to the top. So with the circle class, we can put margin, bottom, as uh, 25 pixels and that gives even space in between all of the elements really and we can press save for that that looks much better I'm wondering whether I should make the icons a bit bigger um, not the actual icon sorry but the the height of the icon so I'm gonna maybe try 150 and see what 150 looks like let's change the height and the width to 150 and change the line height to also 150 uh, change the font size to um, 52 pixels I think that's cool I know it's a bit bigger than this, but it just somehow feels like it deserves to be a little bit bigger. Maybe I can bump up the size of the icons to 15.8. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so now we want to right click on this section here and we want to press Control and C and we can edit this instance by pressing Control and V again so we've got a consistent look and this section here I don't think I want that much margin on the bottom so let me just put that down to 10 um, this section here 
I think I want the font to be a 18 pixel font, possibly 22, and the line height of course to be, hmm, I would have chose 180 but I think maybe 130 would be okay here. I'm going to give this a little bit of margin of maybe 30 maybe a bit more let's see because it's quite a big gap so let's try 60 let's double that and also this line here seems too far up the top so let me edit this instance and add some padding maybe of 30 Yeah, that looks fine. Now let's edit this instance here. It's going to be quite interesting. First, we want to edit the titles. So let's click on the titles of our block. I'm thinking maybe we can have it the same. Um, um, have it the same as the heading threes here. Let's control. But we obviously don't want them to be uppercase. So when we copy them over, we have to make sure that we change the capitalization to normal. And perhaps change the styling to normal as well. I'm also going to give a little bit of margin on the bottom of maybe 10 pixels. So let's copy all of this styling here and go over to this section, edit this instance and do the same for over here too. Okay, so we obviously want these sections to align with what's going on with the actual image in the middle. And we can do that by selecting the Soul Sections block, edit this block. I'm going to add some margin to the top of the block. So I'm going to add like 150 pixels. Rough guess, let's try 170 pixels. That's cool. So I'm going to copy the styling over to this block as well. Let's edit this one and add the same styling. Now we have to separate these areas here. So if I click on the title, I don't want to separate the title. I don't want to separate anything really, not the text, just this, just this section where it says offline capabilities and it's got the text underneath. So that whole section there is what I want, <coughs> what I want to move. So even though I've selected the um, title, I want to go over to Parents and where it says um, Soul Sections Unnamed Content Area, I'm going to click on that and then click Edit This Instance. And now you can see the box is now editing just the content area. And here we can add our margins. So I'm going to add a margin here of let's say 170 on the bottom that's way too much so let's try 130 too much oops 100 too little 120 115 I'm being a bit anal now it's 113 pixels so we can copy um, this again, move it over to here, parents, content area, edit, and then paste that in there as well. Now from what I know, this block here has padding added to it as well, this whole section block here. So I'm going to 
not padding, a margin, I think, added to it. And this has got margin added to the bottom. And this one's got margin also added to the bottom too. Now I think that these areas are probably a bit too big. So I'm going to press save and head back over to headway. I'm just going to check it out and see what I've done here. So I'm going to make these blocks a little bit smaller. I don't think it will make that much of a difference really. Um, let me press save. View site. I think that's cool. So let's go back over to the design mode and make sure we take out any padding from the from the wrapper. As you can see we've got a little bit of padding on the bottom there and I don't think there's any margin there so we're, we're safe. Okay so as you can see um, these blocks here are pushing itself right down and what we need is we need this content um, this picture to be flushed right to the bottom of the screen as you could see in the mock-up we have the iPad which is right at the bottom of the wrapper and that's what we want, want to achieve with this but because we have these um, soul section blocks here which seem to be much longer than we expect or than we need we can change um, the height of these to accommodate that whole image sitting at the bottom of the uh, footer so what we can do is select the soul sections block press edit this instance and right here where it says edit in live css and we have this little icon here we can click that uh, should have added it let's try again there it is sometimes when you have the css editor already opened up somewhere <coughs> and you try to use it, it will not show up. So make sure that you close the CSS editor and then try to select it from the menu here. So with this block, I'm going to specify a height. So I'm gonna say height 408 pixels. Sorry, that's 180, when it has 408 pixels. So that roughly sits where we need it to go. And this block as well, we need the same for this block. So let me close that down. Um, make sure we get to the actual soul sections block. And let's click here. Scroll to the bottom, cut that out. And we want that up here. In fact, we don't want that up here we can just copy this as a comma after the original one and then paste that in and that's now going to do the styling for both of them and as you can see now the iPad sits right at the bottom where we need it to and these soul sections blocks only take up all the space it needs to as well okay so if we press save now and we have a look at all of this in the browser let's see what we have we press refresh we have our ipad that comes in nicely and we've got our rollover buttons that work very well okay so now let's see what this looks like on tablet oh dear i'm scared So on tablet it doesn't look too bad at all except for the image which seems to be doing its own thing. So maybe what we can do is not have this image actually in there at all. Or maybe we just get rid of the text and just have the image. So I think it's best if we get rid of the text really. 
and we can just show to people that this app is also available on an iPad and this information even though it's interesting we don't really really need it so let's open the block options and go to the responsive control section and let's change this to 768 and hide this block I'm going to do the same for this section as well 768 hide this block let's press save and refresh and now we just have this image here so with this image we also want to change the options for how this image is displayed so we can right click on the image open block options and where it says below breakpoint we can have this as image only and we can have where it says image area width we can have this at 100% so let's press save and refresh oops refresh it again ah I think I know why I think I know why if we go to responsive control go to 768 and we actually no not this one we want to do it for the wrapper if we right click on the wrapper edit this instance I think the reason why sorry this is only showing up on this side is because we've only got a really small block in there so what you can do is you can tell the browser that when it gets to 768 to stretch all the blocks for mobile and this actually will make sense if we can do it for this area as well it won't look as squashed as it does now so we can um, I think by if where it says toggle inspector if we turn the toggle inspector off and then we right click on the wrapper we can open up the wrapper options from there in responsive section we can change this to 768 and we can press stretch blocks for mobile and then if we press save fingers crossed it would work so let's refresh and now you can see that the blocks have been stretched right across and they're centered and the iPad pops up just how we need it to pop up as well let's see what this looks like on mobile on mobile it's the same thing okay so that is really about it for this section of this tutorial we're going to be doing another i think three more sections and then this whole series will be complete so i'm very excited i'm really really happy that you've all stay tuned and you've all left me wonderful comments and you've recommended me to your friends i'm very happy and ecstatic about that in fact um i am going to be doing another series that should be out shortly and it's basically going to show you how to use headway without really creating a site so I'm going to be showing you it's going to be like the complete guide to headway so I'm going to be going through all the options and showing you exactly what each option does and what you can use each block for um, I'm going to be talking to you about templates and how to export them and the design editor and the grid editor so um, or the grid editor and the design mode grid mode design mode it's all the same thing to me really so you're going to learn all of that you're going to learn all the proper lingo and not just my version of the lingo in the next tutorial that I'll be putting up I will be probably putting this on Udemy so you will not find it on YouTube but you will find it on Udemy though I will be doing more videos for YouTube and I'm going to be doing more I'm going to be doing a more premium um, tutorial on my own website where I'm going to be showing you from scratch how to make and design your own website without using um, without using you know templates that we've bought or whatever you'll be able to design your own website from scratch and then you'll be able to develop it using headway we will be moving it from one domain to the other so I'll be showing you everything every step of the way on my own website so I'm really happy that you've actually enjoyed this one and I will see you on the other side see ya